Greetings comrades, this is General Phoenix back in the action and as you can see we are now starting officially mission one because uh, the previous mission's is tutorial Operation Donutter. So in this level we are going up against Grandma Stuffin because she's taken over the uh, Sprinkle Puff uh, donut, donut shop and uh, basically filling everything with spinach. So our objective to find Stopper and uh, capture her. Yep, the Sprinkle Puff Donut Shop. I mean, seriously, of, all, of some of the sacred places of sugar and sweets that so, that, that woman could violate, this is it. And as if she thinks that as bad, she should try going to England. We have we have so many sweet shops. I have like five. I have five of them in my local area. In my local area, in a, in the right close to each other. Someone asked me in my town how many sweet shops are there. Like it's like. It's like going to the Bible Belt of, of of America. It's like blooming that there's one down every there's like one sweet shop down every two streets. Right, so we have to collect twelve um, build build piece. I can't remember what they're called to get the um, gumdrop gun. Right, we're ready. Yeah, of all the places. Oh, soon number one, spinach millions around the world will have my delightful liver and fillet paper yeah. cream. That actually sounds and revolting, skin. and I hate spinach. Covered in delicious anchovy sprinkles. I'm messed so up. I eat, I do eat some veg. I have broccoli and everything, but spinach and everything. I'm like spinach, olives, ugh. spinach, liver, olives. Yeah. And plant number two. <laughs> I think I remember in the episode he was the only one who could actually eat Grandma Stuffin's food. Stuffin's food. You know, should have been like just double checking. I've not missed anything. Again, though, it feels amazing that we are playing this again. Is that play of the month? Yeah, play of the month, and get some collectibles in. Because I can screenshot some of these for either thumbnail. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do for thumbnails. Oh yeah, this is the super oven. I agree, like, why would you need an oven that size? I'm still trying to figure out what, where is she from? Like, what? She's it's a European accent, but where the hell is that? Where the hell is that accent from? Oh, that was easy. Yeah, it was like easy. I'm literally just holding the button. I'm waiting for them to come to me. Good thing you don't run out of ammo in this game. Is that collecting? Ah, I got whacked. Oh, um, I think they're lunch ladies, I think these are lunch ladies. I think there's a, I'm trying to remember if not, I think there's an episode where it's just an all singing episode and it is actually grandma stuff, I think she's like the lunch lady at the school. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let me just collect as many of these as I can because I want to make sure I can get up. Oh, I unlocked a secret. I'll have to figure out how to unlock the secret for the last one because the tutorial one I didn't. So click. It's next door operatives special. I already saw it says they're a grapple, so I just need to get to all them grapple. Yeah, it's not a super hard game to to master. I mean, once you've Figure out the basics for every character. You pre you pretty much got this game in the bag. We well, go up against a few more. Yeah, we got a few more lunch ladies. I 
I just got lots more spinach. Right, where are we at? Oh. Oh. Yeah, we can get out this oven first. I mean, seriously, this is just crazy. Of all that, again, that's the thing about the show. The show over exaggerates things like crazy. It's, and it's actually what makes the show really fun. Oh, I got it. I need to just try and avoid it as much as possible. Ow, there again. Place this candy. Or as we call them in England, toffee. Or sweets. Bring up. Alright then. Come on. I, re I actually remember when I was, again, I was really young when I played this. I, I fell off one of these a few, good few times. So if I'm not talking a lot because I'm just, I get distracted when I'm, I try to focus on this as much as possible. Okay, I think this is just a clear way up. Yep. I got it. I got it. Right, well. Again, again, the show's over. The show over exaggerates all this. Yeah. I'm beginning to see a pattern here, and it's that everything in this place is psychotic. Now yeah. I'd like to see some next door operating instructions. Spare part. Yep. So we need to collect twelve of them in my memory serves to power it. So, so it looks like I have to. It's a bit of a game of. Uh, and miss, and I'll see if I can get some of those uh, rainbow monkeys as well. I think there's, I think if you actually watch the um, Try Not To Eat, they actually did um, Kids Next Door. I remember watching it, they, um, I think they did Grandma's stuff and the spinach food as a punishment, and they did um, Candy Treasure, yeah, it was Candy Treasure as a uh, reward if you didn't eat, if you didn't come through and eat anything. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, I'm guessing this must be my way. Oh, shoot. I know people are going to say, like, why not just focus and just get that, but I want to get the extra, I want to get the, uh, the other weapon as well. You want to obviously get every uh, bit of help you can. I think there was a, which I remember, was there a cat lady on this? I remember the, they had like this crazy old cat woman. No, I wouldn't care, yeah, if it was just a cat lady, like, you're the creepy old, like, you're those crazy old, crazy old women. They have, like, a, way too many cats for one house. I mean, never mind that one for a street, never mind a house. Oh, no, 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 I need to go back, I need to go back. I remember a few, I remember a lot, I mainly remember the iconic villains, because you had, um... Sticky Beard, he was like the pirate candy dude. Um, Father, he was like the like the bad villain, like the main the main villain. If you ever watch, I think it's Operation Zero. They called the movie or the special. It was a. It was actually it turns out what a spoiler alert. No, that um, Father and uh, Father is actually number one's uncle because like, he was his dad's brother, Benedict. The one who didn't join him after he, his dad found the book of ki of kids next door. Because we meet actually, because we actually meet their dad, grand, who's called grandfather. Because they have to work together, and I'm and I'm lost. Because even father admits like he was the one who brought back grandfather, but they need to help. They need to help them. I mean, I get it. You want to, you want your parents to be proud of you, but yeah, his dad was just a jerk. 
It was a, it was a dark, I'm gonna lie, it was actually a good dark story, but it wasn't like dark, it was horrifying actually, if you were a kid watching it. If you ever get a chance to watch it, watch it if you've not. And again, sorry for the spoilers. I remember, it was, I think the first time we see him is when something, I can't, again, I can't remember fully what happens, but yeah, this. Number one deal, number one's the one he deals with father to begin with, but it, we mostly did, think, but the other Iconics were, were father's kids, the delightful children from down the lane. No, no. Yes. Got to get too close. I think the, I'm trying to remember it. exactly what it was. It was, yeah, it was when they were all playing tag, but there's a thing with the, with the leader. If she, ta if she tags you, that means she's declaring that she wants you to be the leader, but nobody wants to be like the big boss of everybody. And I agree, I don't want to be a boss of a bunch of snot nodes brats. And in the end, it, Father actually gets picked, he's it. And normally, like, they can't because the rule states that, I think, yeah, the rule states that only a kid's next door operative can be a su supreme leader. But it turns out, technically, Father is a kid's next door operative. And they even do, like, a backstory thing, because in one episode, Father took, I think it's the code module that makes you an official member and uses it to turn every kid into an animal. And Tommy, uh, number two's brother, actually beats him. Oh, got it, I got it. Gum utilizing mechanism sings overabundance of candy around. Gumzuka, that's what it's called. Yeah, but well, that's what happens, but yeah. But the way Tommy beat him was actually putting his DNA, a bugger in the code module. And it turns out by officially doing that, Father got made an, an official operative. Tommy wasn't affected even though he was a member because he actually quit the kids next door to stop the ray from affecting him. I'd like that though, they, that Tommy turned my kids if they're annoying into, into animals and they said just stop the ring, turn my kids back. I'm like, nah, never mind. Those kids are annoying, so them being sheep actually, man, give me a sigh of relief. I'd do it if I was my sister. My, bro, my siblings are quite annoying at times, so you know what? They turn into animals, who knows it, Matt? I can just take them to the zoo. I mean, that'd be the biggest way, of, biggest sigh of relief I'd get. Okay, so it's faster, but it does less damage. Oh, I can change. I'm doing that, then I'm keeping this. Yeah, but but there's also a rule that if you turn into a teenager when you're 13, you, you get decommissioned from the kids next door. But yeah, Father can actually change the rules as the leader. So a new rule, you can't you can't decommission your supreme leader. And his idea was to get rid of broccoli for the kids, which I agree, no one re only a few people like broccoli. I like broccoli. Like, his excuse was, we adults just make kids eat it, so we don't have to. Like, I can say, because I, technically I am an adult. Right. There's a, yeah, there's one about licorice as well, that's with Sticky Beard. That was a really good one, because they have a whole song about licorice. They they basically did a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of thing with that. Every full, every full night, the the people were turned into black licorice like skeletons come back back to life. But when the dark, but when daylight dawns, uh, then they turn, they break down and turn into nothing but licorice. I think it was called Black Black John Licorice. And it turns out, in the end, Sticky Beard was actually his cabin boy. Because they had another iconic villain, um, Heinrich, he was like a German candy seeker. I remember there was an episode where he was like a chocolate monster. Oh, that's no one. No. Hell no. 
That was, yeah, that, in that episode where we meet, so like, I think we should put Gorilla Brains as the dessert. I'm like, where are you getting this? Where, you cannot be ethically sourcing this food. That's what I think for some of these. Like, you cannot be ethically sourcing. There is no way she's ethically sourcing these foods legally. Even if they are for kids. Because, like, uh, like this in this ain't India, this ain't Indiana Jones Temple of Doom, where they where they put in over exaggerated foods, which aren't actually what the culture eats. But they did a clip. But there was a deleted scene or a talk about they were originally they were going to talk about that wasn't the food, but then but they just don't show it. Which, if you ask me, that was a wasted opportunity because you could have actually referenced it, referenced the the, the culture a bit properly. Well, man, how many of these blooming spinach soldier, pastry soldiers are there? I'm, I'm not calling them spinach soldiers, I'm calling them pastry because, I mean, they're made of the pastry. Just what you need for the sweet tooth. Right, so I'm just going to get some more candy so that way I can... It's nice for a bit until it wears off and then you feel sad. That's typically me with sugar rush. I get a, we're like, oh, now I'm sad. Because it's gone. I think I'm actually right near the end of it now. Oh, well, I just realised I'm over 100 now, so that's a win. Oh, I can damage these. I'm getting a few more just in case, you never know. I don't know if you can buy stuff with that. Oh, it bounces! I didn't realize it bounces over the off surfaces. I'll keep it. I'll keep this for a bit, just in case I need it. Ah, right, what's the boss? Go to number two. I'll eat your food. But I'm afraid you haven't cleaned your plate yet, my skinny scarecrow. Not to worry. My junk wagon has just this thing to help you children put some meat on your bones. <laughs> What's your order takeaway? Look for I should have ordered out to eat. It doesn't even... Ow. Yeah. This doesn't even do anything. Oh, what's this? But there's another one like, oh yeah, there's another one where I have to knock her down then I press that to release the sugar. Oh, the jelly technical. Oh, there it is. Yep, yeah, see, so now she has to try and get out, what? meanwhile I have to go. What's been fun as a kid trying to figure out how to do all this? Alright, I thought this does more damage so I'm going to... Another batch coming up, so I just need to take. Right, 
That was a guarantee to happen. So I just need to run back to there and just basically repeat. I've literally got a Spanish soldier literally around my tail. Oh, there's some candy there, so when I go low enough, I'll, um... What is that laughing? I never got that. What is with the laughing? one that should do it. I should just be able to do enough damage yet to finish her off because usually it's that luckily with the games of old like these there's always the classic free lives that situation To it, just run to it and don't stop. Then I just need to literally just run quick. Alright, so I just need to finish her off now. These games are they're not they're not really meant to be super hard, but they're they are fun like to just mess with you. If you just play if you like playing like just a fun game. Especially if you're uh, like iconic. What the hell? I'm surrounded. Ow, 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 ow. Have I got her? I got her. Well, the only kook and she's going to be doing it is in prison. We did it. Super secrets unlocked. Oh, I don't know what that is. So 19 minutes it took me to get that done. So I'll watch the cutscene, then I'll wait for that to do, and then I'll uh, do what I did for the last video. Do like a little talk about the game. You don't need anyone's approval. Uh, I don't want to know. The heck? Oh yeah, it's when we have to deal with the common cold. Snot. Yeah. Snot everywhere. But as you saw, someone took the power car from from her vehicle. That's um, the villain, the a villain who's helping Dad Cree. Right, so that's level one already. Door nutty out the way, and it, this is actually one of my favourite ones. It's a good one, and uh, Grandma stuff and like an iconic Grandma. She just wants to feed you and stuff ya, which is uh, which is actually my nan. Like I go every Christmas, we like we have to pray that we don't have a stomachs burst because she'll be like, "Here's some food. Here's some more. Here's some more. Don't forget this." And like, please stop. We're gonna burst at this point. It's uh, it's always fun going to my nan's though. She's a lovely lady. Lovely lady. The rest of the family are great. That's a tradition. Every Christmas when we're done, we we go down to those and just have a little bit extra. But then we say extra. She cooks like a, she's cooking like she's feeding the royal family. But. But um, again, though, 
I put this in the last video. This is just one of my favourite games to play. It's just a fun, it's a fun game. It doesn't have to be super challenging. I, it's always a nightmare when I have to collect all the upgrade components to then make the, the gum drop. God, I can't remember it, but it's one of those fun, uh, fun levels uh, to play. Like I said, I like it all, but you always have those personal favourite levels of any game. So leave your thoughts down below. And until then, this is General Phoenix, signing off.